Hey everybody, welcome back to Bag Fries Podcast, coming to you live on, out of Beverly on, Grove, on, Los Angeles, California. Hold on. What? Jesus. Can you do some listening this podcast? I don't have headphones. That's why you got two ears and well, one I, mouth. I broke one of the headphones, <laughs> and I think they were Kevin's. Look, hey, hold on. Hold <laughs> on. They're the exact same headphones. <laughs> you want to do the theme song real quick? Well, there is no theme song, dude. We Come don't on, need it. Sing it with me. We don't dudes. need a theme song. Sing it with me. We're not buddy. doing there's no we don't need a theme song. It's just it's not a thing. <laughs> Come on, not, you know no, how to do I, it. No. Come on. All right. Welcome to Bag Fries. We'll make a theme song. I'll- Two friends who are also <laughs> comedians who are just uh, just in love with each other. This is an elaborate and- hoax, elaborate ruse for you to take back the intro guy, John. Yeah, I don't know why you started because I was like, if I wanted a bad intro, I would have had, you know, I wouldn't have done it myself. And you think you know? your intros are so good? My intros are so soft. Let's have an intro off. Go for it. What's your name, by the way? <laughs> I, well, I'll, I'll do that in my intro. Let's right. hear uh, You have 20 seconds. On the clock. 20 seconds? You have 20 seconds to intro the podcast. I need at least a 30 second No, 20 seconds. Ready? Spot. Three, two, one, go. Hey, folks. Welcome to Bag Fries. I'm Kevin Tang. Across from me is Bruce Gray. He's got his beautiful Los Angeles Dodgers hat. He's a birthday boy. Happy birthday, by the way. If you enjoy the pod, make sure to leave us a five-star review on iTunes. And go ahead and send us an email to bagfriespod at gmail.com. Stay gay. Stay loose. That's it. Don't add it. Don't add it. Don't. He's a pro. Don't dude. add anything in after the time, dude. You told dude. twenty seconds, and he said, "Stay gay at 19. Get your get your feet off of there. Look at those socks. It looks like you live in a cabin. Uh, I do. Look, all right, you ready? Here we go. Mine is starting in five seconds. Here, we go. welcome everybody. We're about to have a good intro. <laughs> dude, don't shh. Hold on. That was a, a false start. Mm-hmm. Here all we right, go. I'm ready? Like Four, three, two, one. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Bag Fries Podcast, coming to you live out of Beverly Grove, Los Angeles, California. Here with my good friend, Kevin Tinkin, also producer of the year, Tyler over there. How's it going, Tyler? Oh, it's going good. Awesome, guys. Hey, make sure you leave a five-star review, rate, like, subscribe, all of it, and send us an email over to bagfriespod at gmail.com. Got any questions? Don't forget to use Manscaped. What's that promo code? Kevin's Bush. 20% off and free shipping worldwide. Look at the time. I don't know. I wasn't keeping time. <laughs> I, I, the time's right there. You were supposed to tell me. You were about eight seconds over. That is not fucking true. It is. Look we're at gonna, it. Well, we'll check it on the recording. Look at it right now. We'll check it on the recording. You don't even it's know what that means. Nice. It's at two forty-one, dude. You started. What at is it at? Your zero. goal weight, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. I thought. I mean, we'll just it's have to, important to re- has set reachable goals, Bruce. <laughs> two forty. Can't. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm like. You don't have to lose seventy five pounds. Only seventy five to go. And dude, I'll be ready to go. I think Tyler. What do you think of the intro off? I'm gonna break it down. I had to go with like Bruce had two extra things. He had the manscape and he introduced yeah, me. God forget God forbid but trying to make some money over here. He did not stay <laughs> within the rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody kept Kinda time. Like you automatically guys, like oh, this is nobody I wasn't keeping time for me. There was time right there and I said here it goes. I was you, watching your time. You can roll it back. Dude. We're gonna have to roll it back in the recording. Well, there it is. Welcome to the podcast, everybody. Feel free to send us an email. I don't even know email. if we're still using the Manscaped thing. They said, I asked them about our numbers for the trial run, and then they were like, yeah, we're, it's going to take a week for us to get back to you. The system crashed. Yeah. I was like, what do you mean the system crashed? She's shaving pews. It's great propaganda. <laughs> they're they're going to, we're going to do it for another six months, and they'll be like, sorry, guys. I'm not doing it this week. No? No, that was a standard intro. Wow. Yeah, don't use the promo code this week. If you want 20% off of free shipping, give it a shot. I don't know if I don't know if we're supposed to be using it still. Ah, whatever. Go buy a pube shaver. What do I care? I don't care. You should get sponsored by Heat Packs for your old man back. <laughs> my my back's good. I'm good to go. My hands hurt now from the batting cage. Went to the batting cage the other night. Fucking fun. Yeah. You were there. Kevin was there. Tyler was there. I was there supporting, cheering the men on. Kevin was eating the craziest wings I've ever seen in my entire life. It was like standard buffalo wings. No, they were all fucked up. What do you mean? How were they really fucked just up? Just the way you were eating them too. The way that Kevin was putting his head back like he was uh like he was a fish a little bit and he was putting the bone in there and he was like, closing his mouth and he was pulling out I just was doing the bone. A, like a cartoon cat. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with a fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and no, I did. I was trying to really enjoy myself with those wings, but they were sloppy. Yeah, they very, were sloppy. Very sloppy. <laughs> we were we got in the party room at the batting cage. That was fun. Yeah, dude, that was great. They had the wallpaper, that custom wallpaper that looks like generic, uh, you were saying generic baseball. Yeah, non-denominational baseball. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's good. 
You know, uh, you want to tell the people why, uh, if, if you're viewing this on YouTube, uh, and if you're not, go subscribe to our YouTube also, uh, because it's, uh, it's a depressingly small amount of people that go on there for the amount of work it takes to put out a video. No, it's easy. Oh, it's so difficult. It takes no time at all. Dude, it takes a lot of time. 4K? You ever try to export in 4K? Yeah. Fuckers, I'll, I'll go try. to YouTube <laughs> and subscribe. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, okay. All right. Jesus, you're already sweating. Maybe I know. Turn that AC it's back hot on, in Tyler. Here. Fuck it. And it's... I'm wearing pants and a long sleeve shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fine. Put it. Just put it on full blast. Who gives a shit? <laughs> it is hot, dude. It's hot. It's very hot. No, you're already sweating me either. I'm not. I'm not sweating. You said you're already. You're already sweating, dude. Yeah. Nobody I, would even notice. I would have just looked like I went in hair and makeup on the thing. You look. You. You're sparkling, dude. Good. Yeah, well, you look like I look good. Oh. <laughs> Oh, dude, what? you are sweating, dude. No shit. Your upper lip is fucking. Dude, yeah, you know, mustache. Thing. I'm done with you guys. You got a lot of moisture you on your upper it lip. Out. I'll change. You're going to change? Jesus. It's so much drama with Bruce, you know? Like, I. It's his birthday week, you know? I go, I go, hey, I got this audience, you know, with the Brain Jail crew. Do you want to do a podcast with me? And he was like, oh, do I want to do my podcast and you'll be there? <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. And then it's just all this drama, you know, and he's got to change his shirt because his upper lip's too wet. You know what I mean? But I get it. Oh, is it? Oh, you're just wiping. Yeah, I was just putting some shorts on, dude. Oh, you oh. didn't even change the top? You changed the shorts? No, I changed shorts? the bottom. Trying to get some airflow on the fucking... Yeah, dude, your nuts the... get too hot. The upper lip gets too hot. No, I'm going down there. Got to get some, uh, you know... Fresh circulation Some fresh air the on calves. the, you know, on the Colonel Mustard down there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's that guy, huh? Colonel Mustard. Yeah, what's his deal? My, uh, I like to call my uh, my dick and balls Sergeant Pepper and the Lonely Hearts Club yeah. Band. Clue's kind of a fucked up game. It is. It's just people hanging out, and then all of a sudden, one of your friends fucking kills your other friend. Yeah. yeah. Are they friends in the show? I, there's the movie. Have you seen the movie? I would say I haven't seen the movie, but I imagine you you love the movie. I love the movie. The movie's it's, great. What is the what is their relationship? They're all invited secretly with code names, and the code names are. Mr. Mrs. White, uh, Miss, Mr. Plum or whatever, Professor Plum. Is that I don't I think Professor Plum. Mr. Yeah. Green. So all these characters get assigned those names, and there's a mysterious guy who invited all of them there. And then it turns out some of them know each other. Some of them work for the government. Yeah, they got different secrets, and they all have secrets. And then one by one, people start getting killed, and they don't. You don't know who it is. Is that the game? How it's the game works? Is that I know it's on. The, is that how the game works too? Is there an intro card to the game, or you just start playing? I think you just start playing. Yeah, yeah. I think I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't played Clue in a long time, but it's Dude. a great show. One great time TV, I played Clue, great movie, and I was the first to go. I rolled the dice. I moved into a room. I made my first guess. Got it on the first try, and none of my friends were impressed. I would like Clue, yeah. but they need to change the people on there. Like it'd be like Mussolini, Hitler, and, and Rebecca, who works at a vegan bookstore. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> they need to have like controversial historical fe- uh, uh, character, you know, like uh, Rachel Dolezal. Rachel Dolezal yeah. is be like <laughs> <With> a, Hitler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rachel Dolezal killed Hitler in the. It can't be the library. What's a better name for the library? In the vomitorium. In the uh, internet cafe. In the internet <laughs> cafe. With Do you ever go to an internet cafe with a Cyban machine? <laughs> Tons. You've been to tons of internet cafes? I, I'm a PC gamer, dude. Is that what people go there and do, is play PC games? Yeah. You I thought people went there and one? like looked on uh, porn. Back Poli- in the day. Politically were, correct you know, games? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you, the so politically you, correct The one. internet cafe. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 6. I thought the internet cafe was where like, you know, pedophiles hung out. Oh, every, every time I go, it's gaming. And you know what's messed up? There's one, it got closed down, and I'm happy they got closed down. It was in Koreatown. I went there. They gave me... I feel a worse computer with a worse keyboard and a worse mouse than everyone else had. Yeah. And I paid the same price. Do you feel like you were racially discriminated against? Yeah. So there's a bunch of Asian it's kids not... in there going ham? Oh, real ham. Damn. With people, not... standing, people standing around as they watch other people. Oh, really? They're like breakdancing on the keyboard, hitting yeah. like the fucking shoot <laughs> button. Tyler, you seem like you love Dance Dance Revolution. No, but I did just watch, I did just film a video of my girlfriend and her friend doing it. Damn. They're dancing to Selena. Yeah. There, Hell yeah. There was never any pussy in Dance Dance Revolution. Because you remember, you, I would go to the skating rink every uh, like Friday night when I was in like sixth grade. Mm-hmm. And you could do all kinds of shit in there. You could play games. You could roller skate. And there was always a few dudes who would 
crush at Dance Dance Revolution, and they never got. Oh, the there's respect. dudes that spend their whole life, like their whole life. But then they get like they're so sweaty up at and six a.m. and like pulling out the mat, the mat, the white then, mat like, that plugs into the PlayStation doing too. It, and then drinking oh. regular Coke out of a two liter bottle, like because they're crushing they're, it. They're fucking sweating like crazy. Yeah, and they're, they're cramping like, up. They got they're at home, you know, and like their downstairs neighbors files complaints all the time. All the time. They, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. They Imagine your upstairs care, neighbors dude. playing Dance Dance Revolution all day. Yeah, and they it'd be a through. fucking and the, it's usually fat guys who are <laughs> pretty good at it dude, too. That's so what I'm like, saying. Just, it's just a fat dude cutting a rug just, right above your bedroom. <laughs> Holy shit! Drinking a shit. fucking full soda, out, you know, like, hitting the asthma inhaler. <sighs> he's wearing like he's wearing like a suit because he's an idiot. Yeah, he's uh, spinning his as- asthma inhaler on his fingers like it's a drumstick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> spinning it on it like it's a fucking Harlem Globetrotter basketball. Dude, hell yeah! He's got he's got uh, Joe Rogan playing in the background all the time, just on a continuous loop. You know what a game I liked is. Uh, they had it at a few places, but it was a jet ski game where you'd sit on a jet ski. Yeah. You remember that fucking thing? That was a sick motherfucker. I didn't like that game. Really? No, I didn't love it. I that and there was a terrible skateboarding game where you were on that big ass skateboard. That was oh, a yeah. bad one. Oh, Tony yeah, Hawk tried to make game. a home version of that. Yeah. The, the snowboarding version of that. It was fun. Oh, I know what you're talking about. That it's one. like a SSX tricky type yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever play that one? Uh-uh. Oh, that was a good one. There's a guy the, the, the surfing version in uh, oh. the Smart Guy Pedophile episode. Oh, no. Smart Guy Pedophile. Oh show? yeah! Remember the smart, remember the show Smart Guy on Disney Channel? Yeah, I uh, I remember that show. I remember that because uh, it's uh, Cuba Gooding Jr.'s brother is in that show, and oh, I didn't know that. He's the older brother, I Mario didn't know that. Mario Gooding Senior Junior the <laughs> third. I don't know, but I remember one time when I first moved to L.A. and a friend of my, a guy, one of the first people that I knew out here, posted a picture where he was hanging out at that dude's birthday party, and I was like. Damn. Marco Gooding Jr. He was hanging out at Cuba Gooding Jr.'s brother, the older brother from Smart Guy's birthday oh. party. And I was like, God damn. That's sick. We're really out here. Yeah. Like he's chilling with the older brother from Smart Guy. Do you guys, uh, what, so this was on an episode where there was a pedophile? Yeah. There was always they- a pedophile episode on those things because it was like a PSA of like, don't fuck adults if you're a kid. That's fuck so, kids if you're a kid. This one, yeah, yeah. it's the only time you could ever do it. Because <laughs> you're both wrong. Yeah, you're both rapists. Yeah, get and it. That, get it they, when that happens, when you're both uh, statutory each other, it's fine. What was your sex ed like? Uh, Doctor James Dobson preparing Is that true? for adolescence. The book. That, oh, the book. You didn't have a class at school or anything. We or did a class at school. Did your parents or, sign you out of it? Uh, no, no, not at all. There was a permission slip Dude, where if your you... parents had to sign it for you to learn how to fuck. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. We, yeah, we, I had to sign that. Yeah, we did, uh, cause it was, there was a version when I went to, uh, uh, sixth grade at, uh, Fresno Christian Elementary School. Mm. And that's where I read, uh, Dr. James Dobson preparing for adolescence. So was your sex ed through, it was a, uh, it was a f- abstinence through... till marriage type thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Abstinence, hardcore abstinence. Abstinence. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they still. Because here's what I don't. I don't know. I guess I just I I blame people's own fucking stupidity for shit. That it's like they're like, if you just teach that, then they won't know. Like they taught us everything. I was at a Christian school, yeah. and they talked about condoms. the guy has like they a fake about- ass on stage, and he's like fingering the <laughs> ass while he's fucking I mean- doggy style. He's like, he's they like taught us. A- Everything. Everything. <laughs> 69, 55, like the, all of them, you know? You guys were 55? 55. It's front to back? Oh, I know what that is. No, oh, I don't yeah. like that one. What? I, where you're like laying, when you're laying down and you go... You're spooning you know, and you start fucking uh, doggy style, but... You're too short to Lazy do doggy style. Two lazy dogs. Oh, mm-hmm. and a, I tried it. And a I quick brown keep... fox jumping over them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, dude? <laughs> Who fucks with Mavis Beacon out there, dude? <laughs> Did you do Mavis Beacon? No. I wanted to fuck Mavis Beacon so bad, dude. You don't know Mavis Beacon? Do you know who Mavis Beacon no. is? You neither of you guys know who Mavis Beacon Pull up Mavis, Mavis. Beacon. Just, just Mavis just Beacon. Explain it. it was a black lady computer program. We taught you how to type. Oh, yeah. okay. And so and so I uh, I had a deep in a, a deep you know, you know that movie Her? Yeah, oh yeah. Where yeah. he loves his computer? Yeah, yeah. I that. was like that with the Mavis Beacon <laughs> typing program. You were in you bed late You got Mavis Beacon pulled up over there, dude? Yeah, I do. Yeah. she teach you to type? That's, yeah. I was like, my, by the time I got to sh- shit, dude, by the time I got to like learning about typing, it, I mean, Mavis Beacon was always a program, but there were so many things I did in school where I don't know if it was like modified special ed or and they didn't tell you or what, but like I would just go to these classes and they'd be like, yeah, do the Mavis Beacon typing program. I took this like class called like consumer math in high school and we literally just watched Dave Ramsey videos. 
Oh, that's cool. You know Dave Ramsey? Yeah. You got yeah. Dave Ramsey look kind of to you. Oh, yeah. I'll Ramsey it up. Yeah. I, that's, no, you know Dave Ramsey? He talks like about a, responsible uh, money, spending. money spending and stuff, like how to like create wealth. Yeah, he like hates that. spending money. He's like one of those yeah. guys on uh, ex- smart. extreme cheapskates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen those people? Well, you, oh, I love those. There's I a guy on, that, guy on that show, Extreme Cheapskates, got in the doghouse because he bought his wife a water bottle for her birthday. Like an arrowhead water bottle. Yeah. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Yeah, she was fucking furious with him. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, women are so hard to shop for. I mean, know? yeah, he would go down there and be like, oh, yeah. He's, it's the same kind of dude as that guy who eats all the Big Macs. Yeah. He's the same kind of dude on Extreme Cheapskates. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's, some people are just so fucking stupid out there. Like, the, it doesn't matter about the sex education that they teach. But I, I did learn from a book by job, Dr. James Dobson uh, about masturbation for the first time. There was and, a whole chapter on it? Yeah, oh yeah. It's yeah. like masturbation for dummies. Yeah, yeah. And then there was a uh, and then chicken I, soup for the masturbator's soul. <laughs> when I got engaged, uh the uh we did premarital counseling with the pastor and we got this book called Sheet Music. Fuck like yeah. like bed sheets and it was like all about like preparing for your first time to have sex. And so that we could read up to like chapter five or six. It said to stop here. Yeah. And then you read this one. The, chapter five, chapter six is probably so nasty. You're just holding that page it, like, oh, oh God. Yeah. Cause the first one was the corner. The first couple of pages were like talking about how to like last longer for dudes. And then I might have to read this be, book, dude. <laughs> like they're like, you want to be, you know, go into the bathtub and like, you know, touch yourself and get ready, you know, because it's going to be uncomfortable. Oh, go and, into the bathtub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're telling chicks to crank it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then... uh, That sounds like a hot book. And then in like chapter six, you were supposed to read On Your Wedding Day. Um, Did you read chapter six? I I didn't read any. Yeah, the audio book? I I read a couple of The audio book blasting at the wedding reception? No, no, I did. So Kevin read it once and then all the pages got stuck together. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Oh, chapter six. (laughs) I'm like, give me that sheet sheet music book, dude. You got my Amazon right there. Yeah, chapter (laughs) six was all about like positions and like... Like uh, lube and uh, did it have a recommended toys. brand? No, no, no. It just said it wasn't brand loyal. Use a lubricant. Have a lubricant ready. Damn. Like, yeah, it was like. By the time on. you get to the end of this book, you're gonna have your wife up on hooks on the ceiling, dude. dude. I'll tell you what. I used to do like a Native American ceremony where they hook it through the skin of the uh. back <laughs> and then hang her up because it's the only way she can get yeah. off. Did they teach you how to give oral to a woman? No, uh, that's, that's but not. They, but they were like, "You're gonna need lube because yeah. you're not gonna do this." Yes. What is that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, You're definitely not going to want to do this. Give yeah, they, oral. They talked about it. Yeah, they. Dr. James Dobson. Chapter 21, eating pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Munching beef, yeah. chapter 8. Hi, it's me, Dr. James Dobson. When you're Is glorifying that kind of the name of the Lord. On the podcast. When you're glorifying the name of the Lord and you want to go down on your bride, make sure you do it with KY Jelly. Yeah, I'm surprised there wasn't any, like, nobody bought sponsorship on there. And make sure you shave your bush with Manscaped. I don't know. It's insane the idea of thinking, like, that you're a doctor and you're probably in your 40s, maybe your 50s, and you're like, Well, you fuck so good. I'm going to write a book specifically for children uh, who are about to go through puberty. Uh, Well, when I read the preparing for adolescence, I was preparing for adolescence. So I was like, uh, 10, 11. And that one had masturbation stuff? Yeah, that one had masturbation. Dude, yeah. lives uh, did of TikTok it, would... Did it say... Uh, did it say... Uh, grooming? Yeah. <laughs> That's if so you were cool. gay, and you if a, if, a, if, a, if a person gave that to a gay kid, lives of TikTok, when, that would go viral. And Dude. someone would get fired. I mean, this was given to us by the school that we that everybody had to pay a significant amount of money to be there. See, my school never taught me to jack off. Yeah, they didn't teach me that either. They yeah. said they they told me to not do it in class. That's why I go to private schools, guys. You know, <laughs> damn. That's yeah, my sex ed school. <laughs> I got sex ed twice because I think I got it almost every year because you were doing it wrong every year. What you <laughs> fail? Am I tripping? <laughs> I, uh, in high school, do we learn a little bit every oh, year? Oh, yeah, but no, in, more in high school. I learned guy, in like fourth or fifth grade the first time. See, I, came, I learned in seventh grade in PE class. On, oh. I was sitting, and so this lady came yeah, in. Yeah, the same us. And this lady came in, and if you grew up in Kern County, you probably know the lady I'm talking about. I don't want to say her name, but she would deep throat her water bottle like nothing you've Shut ever seen. Shut the fuck I up. I swear to God, dude. I swear. Everybody everybody would talk about it. The way she would drink her water bottle, I don't have one near me, but she would be like, ah, ah. Like she okay, would, okay. She would fu- I thought you were saying as like an example to Oh teach no, the as class. an example, I fucking wish. No, she would do it. It was just insane. natural to her. That's what I thought too. I thought that was 
Awesome. All right, girls, yeah. real quick, we're going to teach you how to take a dick. Yeah, okay, this is how you bounce go. on it's it. the Andy Dick character from old school, but with yes. children. Yeah. yeah, 100%. Dude, and so she would drink the shit out of it. And she would all, sh- her entire thing, like, she'd bring it all around where she'd be like, sex is awesome, fucking rules. Like, once you fuck, you're never going to want to stop fucking. So take it easy. That's, and that's verbatim? Yeah, pretty much. That's what I would do. If I bet you can get like an online course to go teach this shit. I would go in there and teach this shit. Be like, yo, I'm an I'm an adult. I'd be like, I have sex pretty regularly, and you don't have to worry about being that good at it. You, it's just something you get a little bit better every time. Yeah, I was I was stressing about being good at it. Yeah, me too. But once I realized it doesn't matter, and it's all you as long as you're not, <laughs> you a, a good guy. <laughs> I mean, I feel like Sisyphus. No, everyone should just learn how to eat pussy. With my, my sex life, Sisyphus. The guy, the the uh, you know from As- Atlas Shrugged, or the I don't know what it is. Is he the guy holding the world? Uh, well, I don't know. If, no, 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 Sisyphus is Atlas, Sisyphus is like, his he, homeboy. He's he's pushing the rock up the eternal hill. Oh he never, yeah, he never gets to the top. That's that's how I feel with sex and the boulder. I mean, you're never going to get to the top. You've seen some of these guys on these videos. <laughs> What do you? You're not naturally meant to get to the top. And my rock is like not even interested in being pushed anymore. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Like it's like, look, you've tried. You know the the rock ain't moving. You yeah, know my I rock's mean? got a few chips off it. And it's uh, <laughs> tell you gotten what. chipped on the way down each hill a little bit. Yeah, yeah, a little beat up, a little shark bite a little here and there. A beat up rock. Yeah. So I mean, it's. Uh, but what are you gonna do? You know, I'm gonna get a tattoo. Damn, dude, Tyler, Let's you get blown. Put it on silent, bro. Yeah, what the hell? Dude? You're I getting mean, calls from China. You're getting all kinds. Of, what the hell's going on with you? Yeah, that one was from Taiwan. <laughs> Are you? Oh, wow. There's a <laughs> bad shit going on. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a conflict. <laughs> yeah, they're pissed at you, the, the Taiwan. And ta- dude, no, the, I um. The school for lady boys is calling up. Yeah. Like, where? Where's our, our greatest payment? instructor? He's not here. <laughs> 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 Come back. Uh. I was in the middle of saying something hilarious, and I completely for- was derailed. Oh, God by Tyler. forbid you get interrupted by somebody guys, else. Did you guys think that when you were, before you had sex ed that you would just get pregnant from kissing? No, that's the, what I thought. My I thought be- heavy kissing. I thought it was uh, you, well because every time you in a peed movie, in yeah. the butt, that was my whole thing. Was if you pee in their butt, that's how they get pregnant. You can. Boys have a penis, but girls have nothing. That was my first. <laughs> that was my first thought that they just peed out of their butt and everything. So if you wanted to get them pregnant, you peed in their butt. It made sense, you know. Yeah, <laughs> made sense, and uh, yeah, my wife hates it. I what was it the my, first? What was the first place? I, I do you, it from across the room. Did you ever find some porn? Yeah, dude. Where at? At the fucking bike park, and then bike Dwayne park. Hinder Dwayne H was uh, <laughs> he uh, he had a, a treasure chest, a, a treasure chest. How old was he? He was a few years older. He's the guy who'd fuck his mattress and brag about fucking his cousin. My neighbor across the way at the end of the cold sac, cul de sac, and there was you tell me you lived near the fucking coolest dude ever. I dude, I'm fucked telling his you. bed, fucked his cousin. Well, because we were all like like Johnny Cash, he's we, fucked everywhere. We were like nine or ten, and he was probably fourteen, fifteen, yeah, maybe that's sixteen. A, that's a kid, and had no friends, you know. And uh, his uh, his school shooter with no access to a gun. Yeah, pretty much. But he literally put like a a big chest that was made with like you know balsa wood or something on the inside. And when you open it up, it had all this porn in it. He put that at the bike park. He put that in the juniper bush by our house. That is so awesome, dude. It was, That's like a community library. It was wild. like those little free libraries you see yeah. now. But now you got this guy do it. That's awesome. And the first porn I ever saw was uh, it was uh, lactating women, and it was a woman nice. wearing a pearl necklace and another woman squirting her boob milk at the other girl. It was like, Damn, and this, I've never seen that to this day. There was it a was whole. Wild. It was a whole magazine. Yeah, it was that was. It was the like ma- that Billy Matt where Billy Madison where he has that magazine that says drunk chicks. Yeah, it was like <laughs> yeah, it was like lactating women. women like monthly. Yeah, milkers or something, something stupid. I, I have I was literally like nine or yeah. ten at that point. I remember there was this burnt down house that was next to this old woman named Marilyn's house at the end of my street where it wasn't really a cul de sac. It kind of just ran into a chain link fence then said end. You know, <laughs> and uh, so there was a burnt down house next to an abandoned hotel over there, and. The burnt down house with a chicken coop in the back. And I remember one time I was out there like fucking around and like my, like some of my siblings, like my cousins were out there, were fucking around and there's a chicken coop out there. And I like glanced over at the chicken coop and there was like, I didn't know what it was. I was very young. I don't remember how young, but I remember there was like a naked chick on this like thing that was like 
some it was definitely like damaged in a fire, but it was like this piece. They looked like a, you found it on like a pirate ship, and it was a naked chick. And I remember kicking dirt over it so that I could come back and be like, "What the fuck was that?" Yeah. And so I would I would spend a good amount of time down at that abandoned uh, burnt down house. Yeah, we had- when I was a kid, I don't know like, I'm cranking it or anything. I was just like, "Holy shit." Dude, like I, 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 it was like a gold, a gold. Oh yeah, did I go back? I did was you a leave regular it there. Then you'd like yeah, go back and visit. Absolutely, it? wow. Dude. I'd ride my bike down there. Yeah, we had there was a place <laughs> called the Shit Pit, which was like this. Uh, That's where the Shit Pit is, where the fucking porno mags are. Yeah, do you was, think that? Do you think that the porno mags are still in that bush to this day? No, there's no way. I don't even know if that juniper bush is there. Next time I go to Fresno, I'm gonna drive because I like driving by my old house. Let's like, do it, and then we'll go over there. We'll see that juniper bush, and we'll look through it and see if there's any remnants of. Dude, fucking I'm, lactating women magazine. I dude, I hope so. I mean, it'd be insane because at this point it would be like so old. Would you fall to your knees and be like, "Oh, God is real"? Yeah, the biggest orgasm you've ever had. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. I love a good lactating woman. Uh, it's uh, it is weird. Women lactating is weird. Well, I've talked about that too. Whenever I, I think I talked about it on here, but whenever I discovered uh, that if you clicked on the thumbnail on this porn website when i was like a teenager that it was a video and i was just printing out pictures of these thumbnails and i had like a collection of these things like in my room and i would just look through them like i'm like looking through the morning paper yeah yeah and uh but then one day i clicked on it and i was like oh holy shit it was on worldsex.com world sex <laughs> yeah is that still we check if that's still up dude just put it in world yeah worldsex.com of course it is dude you think it's still running absolutely it would, it would be a long running thing worldsex.com of course maybe it was done that dude i'd go down to the shit pit which was like it had like half pipes made out of dirt and stuff but it was this old industrial park mm-hmm. and there was like really these big vats with these huge uh mechanical mixing spin things in them everywhere but the shit pit was like buy that in the field but there was all these bushes and it was like it turned into a fig orchard after a while yeah um but uh but yeah there would always be porn just out by the trails like you'd ride your bike on your way there and you just see porn because it's some hobo's jerking spot or is whatever. it or is it some guy Rick Caruso would have fucked Rick Caruso would have flipped up in the shit but see is it dude. who's doing all this because is it that or is it like some Johnny Appleseed type fella Johnny Jackoff C. Yeah, so it's Johnny. It's a magical. Guy. Yeah, it's a guy who runs around throwing porn around for kids to find because yeah. it's necessary. It's not you know you know you can't hand it to kids directly. He's got a cock ring through his nose. Yeah, he's like a and, good guy. Yeah, yeah, he's got condoms on his ears. Yeah, he's Johnny Jackoff C. Yeah, he wears. Yeah, he has like a bandolier of condoms. He on his spits head. lubricant. Yeah, what uh, what did you find on World Sex, Tyler? Oh, I found porn. And I had to close it because I was like, oh wow, I'm just getting, I'm just looking at porn now. Yeah, <laughs> getting. <laughs> Uh, Kyle, yeah, dude, that's what, dude, that's what dude, producing a podcast is all about. You guys are looking at porn every now. And it then. would be interesting if we just had Tyler on here and we'd just be like, "All right, start looking at porn," and just yeah. off camera, Tyler has to look at porn. He has to watch porn while the podcast is yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, that's what you. And then we just porn. check in with him, like, "How you doing?" He's like, "I really want to jack off right now, man." Dude, there was, like, dude, you're doing good, man. You're I got strong. showed some porn <laughs> that definitely wasn't my thing. It was more a funny thing. But there's this popular porn channel called Midwest Freak. Have you ever seen this? No. And it looks, it's literally just like chicks that work at like a Dairy Queen or like an Arco type thing. Just, like they're not like working there. It's like amateur whatever, but they're just getting drilled by dudes named like Roger and shit. What's the name of this? <clears throat> Midwest Freaks. Oh, cool. It's pretty funny. Drilled by Roger. They're just getting drilled by dudes who like, <laughs> you know. That was my junior high Truck band, drivers. Man. Drilled by Roger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of Realty Kings. Realty oh, like the real the, the 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 where like the realtor? Yeah, the realtor. Yeah, yeah. She's it? trying to that close the deal. The, the realtor's that's trying to close a deal on a house. You got to close a deal somehow. I, In I, this market, though, it's like people want to buy, so like the stuff selling so high. It takes me out of it though with those porns uh, because they they it's like she's a realtor, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? And then she's like, "What is it going to take for you to buy this house?" And he's like, well, and then she all of the sudden can just like it's just like oh like nobody no that's not happening in real life but you've never you know, tried you know what's funny is i bet a lot of guys have tried from seeing those videos and they've been like what's going on yeah <laughs> exactly into a house hard yeah <laughs> the, the, there's, there's gonna be a new reality show where the cops come out like, oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. a guy's trying to fuck his realtor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indecent proposal to the realtor. There should just be a realtor that fucks you. Like that's her entire thing. 
And yeah. she's like, buy a house from me and I'll suck your dick. Well, if women's lib had that, taken off, of, you know, this is the illegal. kind of that's the kind of world we could be living in. You know, is it illegal to say if you if you use me to buy a house, I'm I'll suck you off? I think that counts as uh, sex work. Yeah, I of think some that's sort. quid pro, pro quo. I think you could get away with it in uh, in Las Vegas. Yeah, probably, but it'd probably have to be in the contract. Whore you know I mean? realty. Yeah, yeah. Or big stud realty, like some big dude, ass dude who just fucked the shit out of you. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll put it on the I'll put it on the billboard. Be like, buy a house for me, and you get to also have sex with me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when we blur out your dick, we yeah. still make it really small. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> tiny blur. <laughs> I'd bring a stand-in stud for for my clothes. Oh yeah, I'd be like, a f- get a friend. Yeah, I'd bring in Zach Stein or something. And be like, Zach, could you go to town on this lady? What's up with guy. Ricky Martin? Is Ricky Martin going Did to jail? Did you notice how like I, I'm saying stuff? I'm trying to you know go and you keep you keep going on new subjects. Do I? Yeah. yeah. Wait. I'll be looking at Kevin talking, and you're you look at me and start talking. It's because I, I don't have about headphones. something completely. I don't have different. headphones. I'm having a hard time. Well, dude, I'm telling. When you do, let me tell you how to do podcasts. Right? Shut up, dude. When you do, I don't have headphones. I'm all over the place. Yeah, but you had headphones last week, and you were doing it. Then, oh, too. come on, dude. When Ty- since Tyler got here, it's been very much just like yeah, dude. So like. You know, like, what do you oh, think? yeah, right, dude. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm including everybody. No, it's so, like, anyway, so, like, you've had bush baked beans before, right? I mean, you've you told me before the, to the be car. open to, I've and been so, sitting like, like this because like, this is what you want. Because, you know, like, when you eat beans, you know what I mean? You told me, you told me that I sit before, Kevin told me that I sit too much like this and it's not good for the camera angle. So I've been opening myself up to the entire room. I do like that. And look at me. I like that. And now I'm doing it and you can't stand it. This is the, the 25 podcast review. All right. Oh, dude. And I, uh, yeah, right. and your comeuppance are coming up. Dude. You know what I mean? I'm going to, it's time for you to be held accountable. I'm going to bud wire myself a, on this podcast. You're getting an evaluation, like, like a shift evaluation. Exactly. Exactly. You know, those are just a couple of things I think we need to talk about, you know. And this is insane. The the <laughs> I we need to reduce the amount of subject changes if we could, you know. And then yeah, you're right. We should just have multiple seconds long silence constantly. Did you know what we when I go to edit the podcast because you don't see this, but it's ever each uh, audio feed is its own separate. Yes, thing, I know. And there's a visual form. Yes. of the waveform. <laughs> And so I'll look at yours, and it's dense. It's dense. Take it like away, the, then, The waveforms are, like, thick. And then you look at mine, it's like, it'll be, like, six or seven minutes, and they'll be like, oh. Yeah, dude, and I'll look so at I it. I wish. And Bruce I'll be like. 2020 COVID numbers. You're a 2022 COVID number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a couple dude. a couple of pop-ups. All right, dude, take you know? over. You got it. Welcome back to the Kevin Tinkin Show. Welcome to the Kevin Tinkin Show, folks. Finally. The way it should be. It feels good, finally. You know? So, Bruce, let me ask you something. Um What's the deal with uh, your lack of touch? How come you don't like when a man touches you? Why do? Because I don't. You know, nobody needs to be touching me. I think they do. No, they don't. But don't you think like you don't like being touched, and that's because there's something wrong with you? Not at all. No, zero percent. See, because I see you're overreacting just just to don't that affectionate. Just but you're doing. I'm not. I'm. I don't even mind. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. You get, uh, I don't. I what I do mind is somebody doing it on purpose because they know I don't like it. I well, don't like anybody doing anything to me on purpose because they know dude, I don't like I'm it. I'm trying to help you, but you're not I'm trying to help you get past this. You're block. not at all. You're limiting who you could. You know the places. Yeah, the you're right. I should let you bother me. Yes, <laughs> dude. If you, I mean. It could be great. You know, the world could be amazing. Imagine if you could go to the store and you could talk to just anybody out there. You know what I mean? And just not get annoyed. And you could just enjoy the conversation. That's not, that's not, that's a, that's hell on earth. I, but see, I think because you, you the, the conversations are painfully unenjoyable. See, most what? conversations are really unenjoyable, I and I know that getting into a conversation with someone, I know, I know a conversation is going to be unenjoyable before I get into it. Dude, I think you should just get out there and, you know, next time you see, uh, you know. Don't name anybody's name. A bumbler, uh, as Evan Cassidy would would put it. I think you should try to set a timer and have a 10-minute conversation. I would literally rather kill myself. (laughs) I would would rather fuck it. And I don't even, not that I even dislike these people, but I'm polite to everybody. I'm pretty polite to everybody, but I do n- I don't have the mental capacity to have a full conversation with most people. Yeah, because it will literally ruin my night. You know what I think? I think that the world needs more Bruce Gray in it, and I think you could have a positive impact on some of these kids out here that are 
are, are struggling in life. You That's know? not my job. I know. I've got my I, own shit going on. I just, I, I just know that there's, I mean, I get, I get to sit here and be inspired on a regular basis. You know what I mean? Yes. I get to be inspired and uplifted and, and encouraged by you all the time, but the rest of the world doesn't get that. Yeah. Because I, it's not, it's, it's, it's not a, uh, it's a finite resource. It's true. It's true. I think, could you real quick, just encourage the, the the viewers out there. Just buy a pube shaver from manscaped.com. <laughs> That's the best encouragement because it's it's like a Jordan Peterson thing. Once you shave your pubes, you're gonna once you clean up your pubes, you clean up your life. Dude, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Don't don't step out of your own pubis area before you know, trying to clean up the whole world. Trying to sh- imagine us trying to shave Tyler's pubes before shaving our Shave own. off your pubes. Yeah. Shave them off. But if he, if you're going, my thing too is if you're ever going to me for inspiration, you're so fucking far gone, <laughs> and you are so fucked, and you've lacked it in every other thing that no matter what I do, I could do, I could say the fucking most inspirational thing to anybody. And if you're taking inspiration from me, you are lost, and Dude, so I can't help you. I I mean, I may be lost, but it works. You know what I mean? I get pumped up sometimes. Yeah, I get right, I get fired up. I, I do. I pump you. I I pump up. You know. When we're in the car and we're listening to uh, uh, Christopher Cross, yes, um, Arthur's song, I mean, that's as good as I'm going to feel ever. It feels great. When we're driving down Hollywood Boulevard and the windows are all open and it's it's going. Hollywood dude, Boulevard. Dude, come on. Don't cross them up. <laughs> Arms crossed. Negative. <laughs> I'm having a fine conversation. Yeah. Just don't. Sorry. Do you but, think it's because you might like the feeling of other people's skin? Like, you might like the touch too much, so you don't want it? No, I didn't know exactly what I like and don't like. I know I know how I like to, you know. I don't want to touch other people. I think we should hug on the podcast. I don't see any, nobody that I see unless it's like I'm fucking really fucking. I, 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 unless I see like a real hot babe. There's nobody where I'm like, oh, yeah, I'd really like to get a, a grab of them. Yeah, yeah. I really like to go up and grab that guy and see, I what, love, he, see what he feels like. I like hugging men. I, like I don't want to hug anybody. Hug a man and then put my arm, and I can feel his erector spine. I want to fist bump everybody. You know? I'm Howie Mandel in this bitch. Yeah. I want to fist bump my family. See, I would try to fix <laughs> Howie Mandel, too, if yeah, I ever right. met him. He's a fucking, he's a freak show. And we go, buddy, why are you limiting your whole life to this bullshit that you know intellectually is not true? But the germs? You- yeah. No, the germs are there. Yeah, but it's like it's 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 like a doctor's not going to be like what you're doing is good. Yeah. You should no, continue bad. to never touch anything because the fear just debilitates you. Like get over that shit, Howie. You know? See, that's inspirational. Yeah. See, I, dude, I'm not here to, I'm not here to inspire. Fair enough. I'm here to fucking rip jokes. You do a good job. That's all I'm trying to do. But now you're limiting my joke, my joke ripping. <sighs> all right. I guess you know what. I apologize. At this point, you know we've been running this experiment for maybe 15 minutes. I think the experiment's a success. I like the Bruce Gray show. No, dude. This is this I, is no, dude. You know what? I'm changing my ways. I'm about to be Clarence Thomas in this bitch. What's that mean? He just doesn't say anything on the st- on the Supreme Court stand <laughs> for like 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> dude, yeah, that's uh, that's that is funny. I guess he did do anything. No, he doesn't say he doesn't talk. Fucking idiot. I know. He's like one of those guys that we were talking about last night, which uh where the guys go, I don't answer questions. When they get pulled over by the cops. Mm-hmm. I told I told oh, yeah. Kevin what is that called? Like I, I put my I driver's license and my registration in a plastic bag and I flop it outside the window and I roll the window up. Yeah. Dude, I honestly think about just putting my hands out the window whenever I get pulled. I'm so scared to get shot by a cop. Nobody Why gets shot you? by cops when there's nothing happening. Like, there's always something that happens. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't mean, know, dude. It's never, it, it's never just like an automatic shooting. Tyler, no one's ever going to shoot you because they think you're one of those little kids who stole their parents' car. So they're, <laughs> that's why they're pulling you over in the first place. Be like, we have a child driving down the street. Dude. Yeah. Dude, one time I was driving in Vokey's neighborhood, and a cop drove by really slow and just beamed me with his flashlight right in my face and st- while I was driving. Yeah, and did that for like five seconds. Yeah, he's probably looking for something. Yeah, he's looking for something, but that I, I was so fucking livid. Yeah, what'd you do? Why? I got a tattoo. You what? I said I got a tattoo. A tattoo of what? A cab. Oh, you went and got a tattoo <laughs> yeah, because I of that. I was like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> you really showed them. You yeah. showed those cops. 
No, I mean, I, I obviously there's corruption in the police department and all that shit. I'm not like a psycho, but I think if you're just you, you just don't do anything, you're fine. Dude, one time me and Bruce almost got smashed by a cop car because we were driving north on La Brea. Yeah, you know Tacos El Gavilon right there. Yeah, yeah. This cop just flying out in the middle of the night with no lights on, no headlights on, nothing. Jesus. Just slides out of the parking lot across all the lanes of traffic in front of us, and we have to smash our brakes not to hit him. Uh, I was, yeah. I, after that, I told Tyler, I was like, dude, you should have hit him. We would have been so set. I almost, got hit by, I almost got hit by a trash truck one time, and after I, dude, Jimmy, after I avoided it, I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was like, why didn't I let it hit me? Dude, Jenny got uh, the the... the Trash truck backed into her. But damn. And like totaled the car. The guy was like, sorry, I had my fucking big Circle K Polar Pop and it spilled on my <laughs> lap. <laughs> he had a five gallon soda. Yeah. Remember those things? Those big oh, mugs? They still exist. People dude. used to drink the shit of soda. Absolutely. Yeah, people, there was things online where people were drinking so much soda out of those things, they were going blind. Dude, I saw. I really, swear to God. Really going blind? Uh, going blind. Jesus. And they couldn't stop drinking like. A hundred Mountain Dew a day. When my when I worked at uh, Wilshire Paint Co- uh, Company, uh, the 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 painters would come in to pick up their orders at like four or five in the morning, and we would always have a big thing of like a, a huge carafe of coffee or whatever you call it that it has a little spout. You know, you've seen those at like churches and whatnot, yeah. but big aluminum thing. And we had two of them, and I'd have to refill it because the painters would come over and fill up these big ass white AMPM cups that were all like cut up on oh, the yeah. outside and just like their cup dude. warped like burnt in some areas but it's they've had it for like 10 years yeah. do you have fast trip in fresno no oh, fast trip in bakersfield is where it's at that's What's a fast trip it's just a good gas station yeah where they have they, I, that's where you always see those big i'm talking about those plastic mugs yeah yeah i'm talking about that are like big ass fucking who is the guy the caricature at AMPM? Oh, the, Tumgus? Tumgus. Yeah, yeah. Did you said at one point, I think it was you, that that guy, that this girl we knew looked yeah. like that guy? <laughs> well, no, the thing was is we, we we were we were on LSD and she was sitting in such a way. <laughs> we had just we had just got back from AMPM and she was sitting in such a way with <laughs> candy situated throughout her body that she looked like the AMPM monster. Yes. yes. Tumgus. Cuz you know him he's made out of licorice and hot dogs and all kinds of other like shit. Like the color, the hair color. She's was yeah, red right hair, a girl on. with red hair. <laughs> it was like so man, dude, that shit killed me. <laughs> she had a, I yeah. think about that she looked every like she was time. She made a licorice. She had fucking candy all over like she was being buried alive. I, I always I, I wonder about her every time I go to AMP. She's and, fine. And I'm she's, like, she's very well off. Oh, of course. I yeah. Mean, I, yeah. It must be nice. Yeah, I know. Shoot. She's fucking bitch. No, I'm kidding. She's very nice. <laughs> I, I was trying to let Kevin keep keep going, though. I was trying to give you more airtime. So, Tyler, you recently watched uh, the Whitney Cummings special. We're not, we don't need to sit here and talk shit about stand-up comedy because comedians. Who gives a fuck? Who cares if you don't, if you if you like a special or don't or if you want to sit here if what we're gonna do a Brennan Schaub expose next? I mean I don't know who it, cares. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just starting a conversation, you know, with Tyler. <laughs> See, dude, this is what you need is a mediator. I mean, I guess. I mean, people care. No, I'm telling what, you, they, it's it's not. It's one of the least worthwhile talking points there could ever be. Well, just because just you hate stand up so much, I love stand up. But it's I think like it's not it. that I hate. I love stand up, but it's just I think sitting around just because there's so many fucking losers doing it on Twitter that are also comedians that make it their entire thing that they hate comedy, even though this is what they're doing, and so they just constantly yeah. online are like, "This person sucks. That person sucks. This person sucks." Who yeah. cares? Well, I was I was gonna say I thought it was great. <laughs> yeah, no, I was gonna. <laughs> you didn't even watch it. <laughs> <laughs> you, I was just gonna say some nice things. I just think a piece up. of media that our listeners would enjoy it might be this special. Probably not. I don't know. I don't watch any comedy specials. That's true. I. It's just what did you what What is the last special you watched? The last comedy special that I watched, probably Shane Gillis. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I think you watched Stav. Uh, I watched some. I haven't. No, seen I didn't. Not that I, I didn't like this. it or anything. Yeah. Um. Is it good? Stav's. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I didn't watch all of it. I forget what I was doing. Yeah, see it. You gotta check it out. Can't believe he left Come Town. You know, I'm. It's just really, really turning me up. Gears. Yeah, did, Tyler. I know that both of you guys watched the Brendan Schaub special. 
I did not watch the Brendan, but I did go down a <laughs> Brendan Schaub rabbit hole on yeah, Reddit. Of course. Oh yeah, my yeah. uncle did too. He called me and we talked about it for an hour because like, I had inside information. To t- and he's like in Texas, he doesn't care. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I. There, I mean, I, I just don't I don't watch. Especially, I I despise watching things when people are to like you have to see this. It's so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that's. That I think that is a colossal waste of time. I love yeah. bad stuff. And I know you. I Bruce call- bad stuff, and he doesn't enjoy it. Yeah. Not at all. It's not because I don't. I don't understand. I just think it's like. I just think it's a waste of time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just to, think it, but it's so funny sometimes to watch stuff to be like. I'll read stuff that I know is bad, or like read like I'll go on people's Twitter who I think are insane, but I read it because I think it's funny how crazy they are. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, you just prefer the the, the reading medium. Yeah, that- but also like on Facebook, I do that a lot. So like crazy people from my hometown, like super hardcore conservative people that are legitimately brain dead. I'll go to their Facebook because I'm like, what's what's the, uh, what's going on? Like, what are people talking about? You know, it helps me stay grounded. Help me stay connected. Yeah, like Tucker yeah. Tucker Carlson right now. What's going on? <laughs> no, Dude, that's see what's happening. Like Tucker Carlson and like all that shit is always like that's shared on my on Facebook. Oh, Facebook. specifically because it, of just all the the conservative people that are back in my hometown and the amount of new conservative people that all of a sudden like popped up that were before. There's not. this girl that I um used to work with that's like that that she like but she posts crazy shit and she's such a fucking loser that she like if this made me laugh really hard because she posts crazy shit this is somebody who whenever the uh um when trump when everybody dropped out except for trump she was like going hard for trump whenever we were working together in 2016 and she was like trump is the republican gop let's go like just didn't she doesn't know what anything means, but like she po- no, she just she doesn't know what anything means. But she like will post all this like conservative. She'll post these long things. They get nothing like one to three likes, and then she started tried to start like a conservative podcast where she yeah. was like one of these people doing this thing, and then that was like six months ago, and then two days ago, I because I check in on people, dude. I want to see what's going on, and like two days ago, she had for sale on like the Facebook Marketplace like an entire podcast setup, which is oh, yeah. so funny. That's hilarious. That's literally it's like baby right shoes never <laughs> worn type thing. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast equipment never used. Yeah, never downloaded. <laughs> yeah, for sale podcast. Dude, the the amount of because for a while there I was doing gigs, uh, producing podcasts for just random, like random random people, the not comedians, just random different people that would reach out from yeah, uh, um, uh, Craigslist and shit like that, and the amount of people out there that wanted a podcast producer that they were going to pay for on a regular basis without knowing what they were going to do or what they were going to talk about or anything. Yes. Like having no clue, like showing up and being like, so what, like, like, what do I, like, how should I do this? So it's like a good podcast. I'm like, uh, I'm just here to show you what to buy. And like, you know, this is what you should get and I'll help you get started. Like, and then I'll edit it. But I, I don't know, just make it interesting, you know, something you can do for a long time, but it blew me away. Some of these people who we would get going and they'd have, Six, seven downloads. Oh, yeah. You know, and. But they're spending like $500 an episode to get it yes, done. Yes. And um, the amount of personal time that they would put into it to try to like really. And I'm like, nobody is watching. Or There's listening. a crazy percentage on that where it's like most like 70% of podcasts get like 10 or few downloads. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It blew me away. Well, that's why when people. I mean, I think you were telling me about that or somebody's mentioned that about when uh, Brain Jail ended and they were like, well, how many are you get? And I was like, I, I tell them and they'd be like, wow, dude, that's like a, a lot like that's you're in the you're in the middle minority. Like you know I would I mean? say like top 10 percent of podcasts. Really? It's like literally I think it was something like if you get like 30 to 100 down, like if you get more than 100 downloads an episode, you're in like the top 10 percent of podcasts. Like yeah, yeah. I remember the number being staggering. It's, it's bonkers like that. But yeah, I mean, but we, of course, want more. So make sure you leave yeah, us a five star review. Dude. Yeah, because, you know, people, it's so hard to hold on to the, the audience from Brain Jail. And I because I was listening to some of the old episodes, I'm like, this is just it's just a unique, different thing. You know what I mean? And the, I, Ben and Jace are so fucking weird. That now I'm just like, we got to, you know, we got to get, we got to hold on and gain more. You know what I mean? Because I want to be able to just 
live my life based on this podcast and what it does. But that shit's so fucking hard. Yeah. Because people won't tell their parents about us. Yeah, tell you your parents. I mean? <laughs> Go to work. You know, instead of doing what you're doing at work, tell people about the Bag Fries podcast. Yes. Yeah, uh, write it on a bathroom wall and say, for a good time, listen to the Bag Fries podcast. <laughs> write that in lipstick. I like that. And just draw a picture of a dick. Sorry, I was wondering about this earlier, too. What? Uh, I forgot. I wanted to bring it up. What is the deal with Ricky Martin? Oh, so Ricky Martin is accused... <laughs> Of incest. Is this a, is this a Seinfeld setup? No, I'm <laughs> incest with his nephew. Okay, so what I've what I can you wow. pull, can you pull it yeah. up? Is this a thing where he was like, was he abusing his nephew when before he was eighteen, or is this after eighteen? Because it's seemingly that from what I've heard, he's gonna go to jail because he was in a relationship, a seemingly consensual relationship with his twenty five year old nephew, which I don't think you should do, but I don't know if that's illegal. Or I not. think incest is illegal. Oh, it's Is also it? he's accused of stalking his and nephew har- and harassing his nephew. Yeah, uh, after they broke up. Wow. Yeah, that's problematic. You know, I uh, I want to beat you guys to this one, but. That Ricky Martin sure was living La Vida Loca, wasn't he? Yeah. He w- <laughs> but is it is is it is incest illegal or frowned upon? I'm pretty sure it's illegal. So the cops are going to come to your house if they yeah. hear that you're I'm fucking your cousin. Oh, your buddy was fucking the mattress and his cousin and leaving porn in the bushes. Yeah, and shouting it from the mountaintop. Yeah, he was telling everybody. Not, not keeping it a secret at all. Yeah, and he didn't go to jail. That's true. I, I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, when you got a big target on your back and you're Ricky Martin and the cops yeah. have been trying to take you down for years, you know, they'll grab onto anything. Yeah. You know? I just didn't know it was illegal to fuck your nephew. Is Isn't that- there a state trying to outlaw sodomy right now? Really? Uh, yeah. No anal? No anal. With a guy or. No, no head? Head sodomy counts as head. I don't know. No. You got the you have the power you no, have no, the no, power no, no, of no, internet no, no. right there. Pull it sodomy up. Sodomy is specifically anal. Sodomy is anal. No, it's head as well. Damn, sodomites are pretty sick. I though. can't wait for you to look this up and then see if you're man enough to admit that you're wrong. First thing that comes up, dictionary.com. Sexual intercourse involving anal or oral copulation. Fuck! Okay. Compulation. I was wrong. I Copulation. apologize. Copulation. I might need to get some copulation today. Shoot, I hate cops. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all copulations are bastard. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's crazy. It's also called buggery. Buttering. Buggery. Yeah, buggery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sold me old buggery. It's called going out and getting all with buggery, and he's, he's yeah. out there in the shorts, the short hairs and whatnot, fucking in the rear end, and there. <laughs> Does that mean they, people were giving he- each other head in the Bible? That's what I'm thinking, because Sodom and Gomorrah, by the way, Sodom, whew, Sodom Sickest, dude. had to be the best at getting at, head. Sodom was a place. Sodom and Gomorrah were places. They were towns. Oh, I thought they were people. No, no, no. They were towns, and and uh, and that's when uh, you know uh, Headville. Uh, yeah, like Lot. And it would, God talked to Lot and was like, "Hey, you need to get out of here because this place is fucking bonkers." And then everybody tried to fuck the angels that gave that message, and then he was like, "Don't fuck the angels. Fuck, fuck my daughters." Yes. God did. No, no, no. Uh, Lot. And then uh, Lot, yeah, yeah, Lot, Lot. yeah, yeah. You're right. His name is Lot. Yeah. Lot, yeah, yeah. The whole book, right? For Lot, does Lot have a book? No, Lot doesn't have a book. But he's got a big. So he let everyone yeah. fuck his daughters instead of angels. They didn't want to. They wanted to fuck the angels, uh, and they didn't want to fuck his daughters. They didn't want to fuck his daughters. Damn, dude, dude yeah. it was Sodom. But I mean, if you it was get the a chance of Sodom, if you get a chance to fuck an angel. It's like, what are you going to? Yeah, that's who says true. No to that. The abs yeah, alone, it. you know, the abs and the wings and the yeah. the, the 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 incorporation from the feathers to the skin to the you know. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's hot up. shit. But uh, yeah, that's when they left and she turned around and turned into salt for thinking back on her sins instead of just moving forward. That's a story. You Have you heard this? No. Oh, yeah. So they're Not running. They're running from. By the way, we did when I did the AIDS 9-11 show uh, that Ben and Jason, when they said, tell all the worst jokes, the story of 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 uh, Sodom and Gomorrah was one of the jokes that I the <laughs> jokes that I told. But uh, yeah, so the, the God literally obliterates the the town, sets sets it on fire, uh, with all the Sodomites and and Gomorians, uh just chilling, and uh, then Lot and his wife are running away, you know, presumably with their daughters. Was his wife pissed off? I don't know, but the 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 instructions from God were don't look back. This is the story. I don't know. I'm not saying I was there, uh, but the <laughs> could have been. It's getting up there in age. Uh, but he, uh, she looks she, out there resting, and she looks back and at the town and turns into a pillar of salt immediately. And is just killed right there. Was he, was he excited or was he pissed that his wife got turned into salt? 
He was aroused. It says it in the Bible. It right? says, wow. Yeah, yeah, and she turned in, Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt, and Lot was aroused. I would have, does he really say that? No. Oh, I would have ran back to the city and started fucking. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah. rather go down with the ship. Wouldn't, you, wouldn't he turn into salt? Oh, yeah, wait, he, he would turn into salt? Of course. Yeah, he, he, he looked back. You look back, yeah. She was thinking about the anal. You know, yeah, she, she was like, she was like, fuck, I'm so glad we got out of there alive. And then. <sighs> After a while, you know, they what if she would have their breath, and then she looks back. Like, Fuck, I love what if she would have sneezed and went like, <laughs> like where you like pull your head to the side, but then you're looking at the town? I think you're fucked. God, <sighs> God, God was brutal back then, dude. In the Old I Testament, know, I feel like God is is one for wiggle room. He likes to give wiggle room. No, dude, not the God I know, not the God of the Bible. We're uh, talking about New Testament God. New here. Testament. Now we're in a completely different era. You know, what's New, New Testament, Testament God's deal? Well, New Testament is uh, basically that. Uh, God sent his son uh, because uh, the, the standards of uh, the Jewish law were too difficult to uphold, and everybody was a sinner, and all sinners deserved, deserved to go to hell. So God sent his son so that he could pay the punishment so that nobody would have to go to People hell. People in the Bible fucking hated their kids. They're like, yeah, go die there. I'm going to kill you. Yeah. You're going to fuck all these guys. Dude, their people were not cool with their kids. They hated them. Yeah. They were, and they were offering them up to get killed and get fucked. And yeah. Isn't there a thing like if a kid doesn't listen to his parents, he'll get eaten by a bear? Yeah. that's. I think it's an old folklore. I don't but know. But that's in the Bible, so, right? That's the kukui. I don't know if it's in the Bible. <laughs> the kukui. <laughs> I don't think that's in the Bible. It might be, though. We're creeping on 56 minutes, Bruce. Are we? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at that timer. Want to keep going with some more Bible talk, dude? I'm liking it. You know what I also, what mainly I was thinking about when you said you got a tattoo earlier is that how funny it would be to get a tattoo on your penis that looked like it was tearing apart. Ooh, yeah. So that whenever it grew, it was like it was growing so much that it's tearing. Yeah, I like that. I, I saw a porno one time where a guy had like lasered off pubes and he had sick flames uh, above his penis. Damn, wow. dude. Yeah. He had flame pubes? Yeah. I wouldn't mind getting uh, permanent hair removal. On like, your body? Yeah. on uh, Specifically on my asshole and- uh, Around the butt. Yeah. I have a hairless yeah, asshole. Yeah, like kind of everything. Like I, my balls. I wouldn't mind if my balls were hairless. You know, Just, like We should do it. Laser. We should make that a Patreon tier. Laser Whenever we make a the... Patreon tier, Kevin gets his entire body hair laser Not removed. my entire. That's too long. I wouldn't put any. Sorry, from your that. knees to your shoulders. I want it from like the sides of my dick, you know, under to the balls okay. and then back to the asshole. Yeah, that's we'll do it. it. Just that. Strip. And Tyler's going to be the administer. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, like, with the laser? Yeah, you're going to be the assistant. That's good. Hold his penis. I, I'll be googling the whole time. Hold his balls. They're getting in the way. Yeah. Did you ever get a? You've. I mean, you've had a. Have you had a colonoscopy? Mm. Whoa, dude. I need have to you? Get one. I have. I have a. I've had hemorrhoids for like eight years now. You ever get them so checked I've, out? Yeah. So I've had multiple fingers up my butt. I remember the first time I did it. I told this on Worst Hour. The doctor got really mad at me because every time she put her finger in my butt, I'd get nervous and I'd clench my butthole around her finger. So I was just like squeezing <laughs> her finger. Like, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha, baby. Oh, you're going to have to work harder than that. <laughs> That's what you should be doing. You're at the VA, too. Dude, just relax. <laughs> Why would you relax? You got someone's finger in your ass. You got to relax. Well, they got to give you some drugs. Relax. Uh, remember that song, Relax? That's what that was about. It really yeah, was. Man. I yeah. had a hemorrhoid before, and I went to the doctor, and he was like, do you want me to take a look at it? And I was like, no, just give me this stuff. Relax. <laughs> Go to it when you want to get to it. Relax. Do if, it when you want to come. If That's anybody, the lyrics. Do any, if anybody's going to be sticking their finger in my ass, I need to be completely knocked out. And they just need to have their way with me. Like a dog. Col yeah. Colonoscopies, they knock you out. Good. If, if a doctor, because I remember I got a physical, uh, which my doctor was this guy, Dr. Thorpe. And he was this big motherfucker, big old guy. Ugh. And I remember I was getting a physical Ugh. when I was in like seventh grade for football, and I was in the waiting room trying to chub up for Dr. Thorpe. Now that I think about it, I was just like, my dick's going to be out. And he literally, dude, he, I had to pull my balls out, and he poked at them like you would a dead body to see if it's alive or not. <laughs> he just poked, That's it? Just poked, poked his finger. Why? I don't know why. I thought I had I had like a loose BB inside of my ball sack once, 
And uh, I went in and a he, loose BB. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. shot in the nuts with a BB. I don't know, but I found like there was this hard like little BB in was my nuts. Was it nut metal? Sack. No, no, I don't know oh, what it was, okay. but it was like it felt like literally the size of a BB gun BB. And I went to the doctor for him to like check it out, and he was he was just like literally like, oh, it's nothing. That's totally normal. There's, I mean, like At first he went, God, it stinks down here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, he uh, the the. I've had some ball issues, you know, with the the cyst, you know. Well, you had a fat nut cyst. Yeah, that was not fun. Uh, but yeah, no, you ever usually... hear this story? Kevin fucking had a cyst on his sack and he popped it while he was camping. Yeah, I was in a cabin, you know. He was in the dirt. I'm not. A, I'm not proud of it. You know, yeah. it's not. And it, it's not a proud. That was, oh yeah, that was when you were going to get all your shit done by medical students, and they would start fucking grabbing your sack, and then they'd bring in a bunch of college students, and be yeah. like, "Look at his sack." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the price you pay when you're trying to save money at yeah, the fuck that dude. the the Fresno State University Medical Center. That's awful. Yeah, uh, I gotta wrap this up. Did I tell you guys about my escape ladder, dude? Peep that shit under the desk right there, dude. Why'd yep. you get an escape ladder? Because I'm on the second floor. If there's a fire, I could throw it out the window and climb down to fucking safety. Have you tested it, by the way? What do you hook it what up to? What are you to? talking about? No, I haven't tested it. I'm going to either do, I'm gonna do it and I'm going to die. It hooks up to the windowsill. I'll just die. If I, if you I, won't die, but you will fall. What? You'll get hurt. For what? It's hard, dude. Have you ever used a rope ladder? No, but in the moment, it's all going to be the only option or I'm going to fucking die. Dude, if, I, if, if my house is caught on fire, I'd just jump out the window. I'm not jumping out the window. It's only a second story. Yeah, it's still, no big, it's no big deal. Bust through the glass like you're a superhero. I weigh like 190. I'm gonna have fucking hit the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you <just> turn- <laughs> you're so heavy. Uh, you, you get pancake. Yeah, I uh, no. There's the. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a thin guy. I uh, oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. That's, that's, that's bullshit. There's the there's that gate right there that has like like pokey things on the top of it. So I'm be on this fucking rope ladder, whatever it is. And if I fall, I'm gonna get fucking impaled like I'm on Mortal Kombat. Hell yeah, dude! I want to get impaled on top of the Empire. That's how State actually building. I I want to die. If I get the death penalty, I want him to throw me to the bottom of that Mortal Kombat pit. You know what I'm talking about? With the spikes yeah, on the bottom, that's, that's easy. No, I think I don't know if you would die immediately. Like, yeah, what if it, it misses your, your heart and your head? No, there's gonna be a, it's gonna be a lot of spikes. Yeah, but you'd still suffer for a while. Yeah, I wanna I wanna skydive over the Eiffel Tower and get impaled on the spike on the top yeah, and up fuck your up ass. the French flag and shit. Yeah, and like just scream America as you I'm would dying. get a couple stories down with your ass. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, easy uh, man. All right, we gotta wrap it up. Any, All right, folks. Hey. Else? That's it. I, I, you know, we got Comedian Cinema Club tomorrow night. We're recording this on a Thursday, and this is going to be once a month. So, uh, you know, go uh, subscribe to the Comedian Cinema Club uh, social media. And then, of course, Bag Fries. And if you could subscribe to the YouTube, we would love that. Uh, and if you inspired to buy a shaver, try using Kevin's Bush at uh, for 20% off of free shipping. Yeah. Also, if, I don't know if anybody is, but if you're in Portland or around there, Central Oregon, I'm going to be there for 10 days in August. So... Head up my website. You're leaving for 10 days? 10 days, bro. Head up my website. You'll find it all. What am I going to do? I don't know, dude. That's not my responsibility. You guys figure it out. We'll do a, we'll, we'll can some podcasts. <laughs> but, but you won't be around, though. No, like. dude. Not at all. I'll be unreachable, too. I'll be out of service. I'll be out of office. If you email me, it's going to say I'm out of office till. Is the really? whole house going? Uh, me and Kelly and the dog. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, dude. <laughs> well. Don't abandon me like Bruce does, Shut and make up, sure you dude. leave a five star review on iTunes and uh, stay classy, San Diego, and you know keep it loose. Whatever your sexuality is, I hope you're getting boned down. Fuck yeah! And Goodbye. I, Thank you. I hope you're coming and going. If you know what I mean, just spraying and staying. You know what I mean. Just getting laid and getting paid, getting greased in the Middle East. Thank you guys. Love you guys so much. Goodbye.